We talked about EC2 instance types, but you're all probably wondering, how much is this gonna cost me? Well, don't fret. For EC2, we have multiple billing options available. The first one, and the one that most people are familiar with, is called On Demand. What that means is that you only pay for the duration that your instance runs for. This can be per hour or per second, depending on the instance type and operating system you choose to run. Plus, no long-term commitments or upfront payments are needed. This type of pricing is usually for when you get started and want to spin up servers to test out workloads and play around. You don't need any prior contracts or communication with AWS to use on-demand pricing. You can also use them to get a baseline for your average usage, which leads us to our next pricing option, savings plan. Savings plan offers low prices on EC2 usage in exchange for a commitment to a consistent amount of usage measured in dollars per hour for a one or three year term. This flexible pricing model can therefore provide savings of up to 72% on your AWS compute usage. This can lower prices on your EC2 usage regardless of instance family, size, OS, tenancy, or AWS region. This also applies to AWS Fargate and AWS Lambda usage, which are serverless compute options that we will cover later in this course. Another option is reserved instances. These are suited for steady state workloads or ones with predictable usage and offer you up to a 75% discount versus on-demand pricing. You qualify for a discount once you commit to a one or three-year term and can pay for them with three payment options. All upfront, where you pay for them in full when you commit. Partial upfront, where you pay for a portion when you commit. And no upfront, where you don't pay anything at the beginning. The next option is spot instances, and they allow you to request spare Amazon EC2 computing capacity for up to 90% off the on-demand price. The catch here is that AWS can reclaim the instance at any time they need it, giving you a two minute warning to finish up work and save state. You can always resume later if needed, so when choosing spot instances, make sure your workloads can tolerate being interrupted. A good example of those are batch workloads. And finally, we have dedicated hosts, which are physical hosts dedicated for your use for EC2. These are usually for meeting certain compliance requirements and nobody else will share tenancy of that host. 